Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about why you should never play hard to get when dating people. See the ironic thing about this is most people will play hard to get thinking that it's a good dating strategy and that it will attract the people that they want and basically make those people believe that you're a high quality partner and then therefore end up falling for you. But the way it actually works out is quite different from this because the truth of the matter is when you play hard to get, it actually has the opposite effect of what you intend. It ends up scaring away high quality people and only works on attracting low quality people. So you don't want to use this strategy unless your goal is to only attract low quality partners, but I hope that's not the case because these aren't the people that you want to enter into long-term relationships with. Now, if you're just trying to have some fun, then go ahead. I mean, maybe that'll work, but also be careful with that because having fun, there's more to that as well. We often think that we can just have one night stands and not be affected by it at all. But um, every time you do the bedroom Olympics, it's going to have an effect on your psyche. So just keep that in mind before you think about going after low quality partners for a fun night out because it can still affect you more than you realize. But anyway, that's a topic for an entirely different video. So don't play hard to get. Like I said, it scares away high quality people because they don't want to play those games. And most of them are really good at sniffing it out when you're using this dating strategy. I mean, most people in general have probably encountered somebody playing this stupid game at some point in their life. So almost everyone has some experience with it. But high quality people are just the few who won't tolerate it whatsoever. If they see that you're playing this strategy, they're just going to walk away and go after people who are more mature and more upfront about their feelings, who aren't going to play these dumb games and act like they're hard to get just to try to feign themselves being high quality. Because the truth is, if you are high quality, you're not going to need to play games to try to convince people of that fact. You wouldn't even care about convincing people of it at all and that would make you high quality because that's the way high quality people are they don't care about proving themselves to others they don't care about impressing others they just are themselves they're completely comfortable in who they are and completely confident and secure in who they are so they don't play games and they don't want to play games with other people so that's why you shouldn't play hard to get you really don't want to use this strategy because yeah, it only works on low quality people. They're the ones who may get tricked into it because they don't know enough about human psychology or they haven't had a lot of relationship or dating experience. So if you play hard to get with them, yeah, they may actually think that you're higher quality than them, but that's not really saying much because if these are low quality people, then I mean, odds are a lot of people are gonna be higher quality than them, even if they're not of high quality. So you don't want to attract these kinds of people. But anyway, I hope you see what I'm getting at here. Just in life in general, you should strive to not play any games whatsoever when you're dating people. Just take the high quality route. Even if you aren't quite high quality yet, it's a thing that we all work towards. That's what we all want to become, hopefully. I mean, I hope that's the case for you. But start practicing that route. Just start becoming comfortable being yourself. I know everybody says that when it comes to dating, everybody says, just be yourself. And nobody really knows what that means because it's so vague. But in my own life, what I've come to realize is being yourself literally just means being comfortable in your own skin. If you are comfortable being yourself and you're okay with people rejecting you for who you are, because, well, in a way, they can't even really reject you for who you are unless they've been dating you or in a relationship with you for well over a year because it takes quite some time to get to know people enough to actually reject them for who they are. Usually people just reject you based on who they believe you are, which isn't actually you. So in a way, you shouldn't take those early rejections to heart. You shouldn't be affected by them because you're not actually really being rejected. They may think that you're completely different than who you are because maybe you were nervous on the date. Maybe you said a few things that you know, I guess upset them or whatever it may be. So don't take rejection to heart. Don't be upset by it. But basically, just be comfortable being yourself. And if people don't like you for who you are, then that's a good thing because then you're not going to enter into a relationship with someone who isn't down for you. Because that's what we all should aim for at the end of the day. 
finding people who are down for us, and then going after them and not playing any games whatsoever. So become comfortable in your own skin and just be yourself when you're dating. It'll make you attract high quality people and have better relationships. Drop the games completely. Anyway, I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.